Welcome back to Violet More Path on the Wrath of the Righteous. This is going to be part 101, and this is going to be quite an important episode, I think. So today, we're gonna retrain our characters. Why are we gonna retrain our characters? Also, by the way, I've already retrained our characters. You, we don't have to watch that thing. I'm gonna uh, leave a link down in the description if you're interested in exactly how to level. I'm just gonna show you uh, quickly. I'm gonna load a save where we've retrained our characters, and I'm gonna just uh, show you quickly how... Uh, how these characters work now and why they are so good. So the reason for this is of course that uh, last time if you remember we cleared these minotaurs which we gonna have to loot also of course, loot them, get that, get those cool items there. And then we realized if we try to cross this bridge here there's going to be a very difficult fight. We cannot complete this fight at this point, uh, it's impossible. I tried for about 8 hours yesterday, completely impossible. So today instead what I did is I went and respect, and we're gonna respect into, this is probably what we should have done uh, to begin with, I'm not gonna respect in a way where like we could not have completed the game up until this point with this build, we're not gonna completely change the build, uh, but we, oh, oh, well in a way we are, <laughs> in a way we are, in a way we aren't, so we're still gonna be able to charge, I'm still gonna keep that core of our build that we could still charge so that we can complete the early game, but then uh, I've added a lot more levels to do uh, more damage when we don't charge. So now we can deal a lot of damage even though we don't charge. Uh, but I'm gonna show... Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm first gonna just clear these guys. Uh, just so that we can get back from this point. Uh, I mean, it's not necessary. I can't load that game. But I thought, you know, for completion's sake, uh, I wanted to show you uh, killing these guys. And then... After that, we're gonna load and we're gonna change our setup. The douche. And also, like, with all the information, I didn't know that we we're gonna go trickster path, and I hadn't researched it enough yet, I feel like. Uh, when we. Uh, hopefully, we're gonna clear these guys. <laughs> Let's see. Sometimes, sometimes you don't, sometimes you do. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, one hit. One hit now. One hit. All we need is one hit. One hit on this guy. Come on. There we can do it. Okay. She died, but <laughs> it doesn't matter because we're gonna load anyways. So, that what uh, that's what I did the last time. I cleared these guys, and then I went and level up everybody. And now, with the new party that we have, we are going to be able to do places which we weren't able to do before, because now our party is actually good. <laughs> now I feel like, this. Was, yeah, this is what we should have done to begin with. So, I'm gonna show you the party. Let's see here. Uh, I've done everything. I've equipped everybody with new equipment. I'm gonna go through all the changes in our part here. Oh, but like, not in great detail. If you want exactly everything that I've done, everything I've leveled, everything, check the link down in the description. There's going to be a guide to the main character. I'm gonna create a guide for that because that character is such, such an amazing character, honestly. And then there's going to be a guide on how to create all these uh, normal dudes that we have here. Uh, I'm just gonna show you. Okay, so first, our main character is the biggest change. Absolutely, by far, the biggest change. Uh, we could have started off as a cleric, I guess. We could actually have done that. Uh, but it would have been a struggle, honestly, to get through the early part. But then we could have been carried by... Um, so I think you can do this build from the beginning, but you will have an absolute horrible time until you get to, uh, to meet the mongrels. And uh, you get level 2 and you can level up your entire party so they can carry you through the rest of the game. Because essentially this character is kind of useless until you get level 8 and then it's just amazing. So, what is this? This is a Herald Caller Vivisectionist Thug. Yes, so why are we going all these things? And you can see here, our abilities are Intimidating Prowess, Skill Focus Persuasion, Persuasive, and deceitful, so everything that adds persuasion. We are also a special. Uh, we can't see it here. A special class which makes it so that our wisdom modifier is added to our persuasion checks. Uh, so as you can see here, we have 44 persuasion. Uh, we actually have more. We can't see every bonus we get there. You can see persuasive, deceitful, gloves and ambassador, heroism, luck. Skill focus. We actually have uh, potentially two more that we can get from having Wisdom 30, which we're gonna get with a Cognatogen. That's why we have Vivisectionist, so that we can get the Cognatogen, so we can boast our Wisdom up to 30. 
Uh, so persuasion can be about 50, something like that. So why do we need so much per persuasion? Well, that is because we have... Let's see here. Class... Blah, 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 blah. No, it's not on the class. It's on the mythic path. Okay. We have persuasion rank... Well, let's look at persuasion rank 1 first. Because actually, weirdly enough, the most important. You are so good at demoralizing enemies that just entering combat against you is enough to demoralize them. Any enemy that begins combat against you is immediately affected by your demoralize ability. So demoralize, of course, makes people shaken. But since we have thug... Um, and, of course, we, since we have so much persuasion, essentially everything that is not immune to this is going to get... Uh, persuaded into being frightened but since we picked up one level of thug and thug has frightening which says whenever the thug successfully uses persuasion to demoralize a creature the duration of the shake is increased by one round yeah that's great and in addition if the target is shaken for more than four four or more rounds the thug makes the target frightened for one round and frightened is so much better than shaken or uh, yes because Frightened makes it so that they cannot move in their first round. What's gonna happen now? Everybody's either gonna get frightened and they can't attack us in the first round. They have to just move, because that's what Frightening says. You have to move away from uh, every enemy, as far away from them as possible. That's what Frightening does. Or, if that doesn't happen, uh, that is going to be because they are persuaded by rank 2. Enemies affected by a demoralized ability must succeed at a will save DC of 10 plus your ranks in persuasion or become paralyzed and completely helpless. This is of course the best thing if they get paralyzed and helpless, but it's not going to happen that often. Very often they're gonna save out of persuasion, but they are not going to be able, or persuasion rank 2, but they're not going to be able to save out of persuasion rank 1 thug. They're gonna be feared and they're gonna run away and that makes it so that we can actually set up and not die in the first round of combat, which is surprisingly good. Everybody also has last stand, I put that on everybody. Uh, so that's essentially the main character. We have the... Oh, no, 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 that's not all, <laughs> by the way. Uh, we have a couple of domains on our character. As you can see, our mythic path, we've added glory domain, we've added... Uh, we can't see all the domains we've added there. We've added community domain. So we've added, let's see here, community domain. This is so that we get uh, the guarded hearth, of course. Where we can put up a big bubble and all friendly creatures in the area receive a sacred bonus equal to your wisdom modifier. That's why we need to have it at plus 10, so that everybody gets plus 10 on their attack rolls. Uh, the world lasts for one hour per level. And you can use this ability once per day. This is the thing we used in Pathfinder King. Oh, well, I don't think we used it in our main play, we didn't need it. It was, it was a much easier game than we needed, but this thing is just amazing, amazing, amazing. We're also going to use Inspiring Command. At 8th level, you can issue an Inspiring Command. All affected allies get a plus 2 insight bonus on attack rolls. So this is plus 10, this is plus 2. This is actually unnecessary, or of heroism, because we already have uh, heroism that we got from Inspiring Command. So this was a mistake, we don't need to go... Uh, I think this was the glory domain. We don't need the glory domain. So we can skip this domain. So if I respec this character, I'm going to respec out of uh, the glory domain. Because it doesn't actually do hardly anything for us. I mean, it's convenient. Because we can cast this as a swift action and give everybody heroism. But we can just cast heroism on them. So it's, it is unnecessary. So that's a little bit of a screw up. But, you know, screw it. Who, who cares? Um... We also got all the spells, we got uh, protection from all uh, from everything, from electricity, communa. You might wonder why these are, uh, we have an infinite amount of casts on them, and that's of course because we have completely normal spell, which is bugged right now. Uh, we can make any spell into a level 0 spell. How do you do that, you ask? Well, so let's say you have something which is level, uh, level 2, for instance. Uh, and then you make that into a level 1 thing, for instance the Orcan's Aura here. And then, you just add Metamatic Complete Normal spell again, and then it's a level 0 spell. You write that spell, and as you can see I've done that with all my spells. I mean it doesn't matter too much, we still have enough uses of every spell. Uh, so it's just a cool trick so that we never run out of spells. Uh, but it actually doesn't matter for the build, because we have enough spells anyways to buff everybody. Uh, but that's what I've done for this character. So this character is a buffing character. It also has now all of our summons. Uh, it has our... let's see here. 
It has the Axiomites, it has the duality of conjuration, and somebody can also, I forgot to put in the red caps. That's the red caps. Uh, so that's it. You might also wonder what happens if you have a level 0 spell and you cast it. Uh, like, for instance, if God bless, it says the duration 1 minute per level and it's level 0, so isn't it 0 minutes? No, it still uh, works as a normal bless. Yeah, yes, you know, but we can just cast no <laughs> bless. I still have it, I think, in the spellbook. Let's see. Don't I have bless? Didn't I even put in bless? I was a little too lazy to even put in bless. Okay, doesn't matter. Uh, then we get to these characters. How many minutes are we into this? Ten minutes. Okay, I think I can explain these guys kind of quickly. So as I can see, we got Viva Sectionist, Dragon Disciple, Gendarm, so hey, Blood Rider, Seeker, Proclaimer, Cross Blooded. Why? Uh, well, essentially. There is a thing now in the game which says that if you have a bite attack uh, that stacks with all other bite attacks. So if you can get five bite attack, which we of course get with this build here, you get five extra attacks. So we're gonna get three attacks, two from uh, Fleur of Blows here. Then we get one extra from uh, having base attack one is six, so that's three. Uh, then, since this is a light weapon, and we are, are uh, we have the Vissectionist which has Feral Mutagen, which gives us first a Bite attack and a Claw attack, we're gonna get another Claw attack, so that's gonna give us four attacks. Then we have five Bite attacks in total, one from Dragon Disciple, one from, uh, let's see, a Seeker, this is an Oracle thing, so you can go Wolfsguard base, uh, one from... Uh, Cross-blooded sorceress, because uh, that is the serpentine sorceress. One from blood rider, because that is the serpentine blood rider. Yes, and that's five extra attacks. So in total, we have nine attacks. If we haste, we have ten attacks. Uh, but we don't need haste. I mean, it's nice, but I couldn't fit it into the build. So uh, we don't have access to haste. But if we find a haste scroll or some, if someone can scribe a haste scroll, for instance, that's gonna be great. That's gonna be absolutely great. Uh, what else? Yes, everybody's using... Uh, we can't use sides anymore, unfortunately, because then we don't get the extra attacks. We can use them if we want to. The problem is we can't increase... Or don't have enough... Uh, can you see our attack bonus? Uh, it, it's like this, but that's because we have power attack on right now. It's gonna be enough to hit them anyways. But uh, we have one shit nunchuck, unfortunately, on Mui Link. That's because I couldn't afford more. These are all the ones you can buy in the town from the... Uh, vendor which says something like uh, special weapons vendor or something like that. Yeah, he sells a frost nunchuck, a comma plus three, a... Oh, th this is just Finian the talking weapon which can turn into anything, so here we have uh, comma on you. And then there was a psi plus three, so unfortunately this girl has an absolute shit weapon. And uh, that's just too bad. <laughs> I would love for her to have a good weapon, but the thing is... Uh, now what we want to do is get a lot of money, because then we can buy a better uh, nunchuck, and we can also buy a better, let's see here. We don't need to use Finian the Talking Weapon here for our uh, Kama. We can actually pick up a really good Kama in the store. Uh, but both of those require 50,000 gold, It's a lot of money, so... Uh, I've also kept all the sites, I didn't want to sell them, even though we're not going to use them. Because, uh, like, nostalgia, I don't know. And they're also better on the charge, actually, because on the charge you only get one attack. If you move, uh, you always only get one attack. But if you don't move and you just attack, then you get your full attacks, then you get nine attacks. You want to move as little as possible and just smack them. Smack them, smack them. So the combo is not just getting a lot of attacks. I mean, that's good. But also, we have, as you can see here, we have a level in Proclaimer. This is a War Priest. Warpriest gives us access to these things, uh, Storm Strike and Ice Strike, because we are Gosra, and we picked up Weather and Water from Gosra, the Blessings, Weather and Blessings of Water. This makes it so that it can touch one weapon and grant it a Blessing for one minute. This weapon glows with a blue or natural spark and this one is a 1d4 electricity damage, and this is 1d4 cold damage. That seems like irrelevant bonus, you would say, it's not that much damage. It's probably going to be resisted and everything. Well, here's the thing. If you have two different uh, types of damage, that actually triggers Elemental Barrage. So with every attack that we hit, 
we're gonna trigger Elemental Barrage. And that we can find under Mythic Path. So Elemental Barrage says every time you deal energy damage to a creature, you apply Elemental Mark to it. If during the next three rounds you deal energy damage to a Mark target with a different type of energy, the target is dealt additional Divine Damage. The Divine Damage is 1d6 per Mythic rank. So we get this 1d6 per Mythic rank for every hit also. Except for the first hit, of course, because then we don't have the Mark. But for every hit afterwards, so 8 times 4d6 is what we get right now for the Elemental Barrage. So that's quite a lot of damage. We also have Brutality Incarnate, so that our natural attacks, all our bite attacks essentially, uh, ignore damage reduction. Mostly we are fighting with natural attacks, so we are not... Uh, we have Weapon Focus Bite instead of having Weapon Focus whatever weapon we're using. Uh, we have Destructive Shockwave also, so that if we miss something they still take damage equal to our strength points. Unfortunately, these two don't combo, so even if we bite something and we miss, uh, we don't ignore damage reduction with that bite which is very important and then we have last time everybody so that is the setup everybody that is the setup and as i said if you're very interested in seeing a guide for this a proper guide for both the main character and these guys i'm gonna put uh, up those guides it's gonna be linked down in the descriptions to those things so where are we i probably start off by showing where we are uh, so we've gone we've gone away from the uh, place that we were before, which I don't remember the name of, it was called Ivory Sanctum. And that's because when we've completed Ivory Sanctum, I think what's going to happen then is that we are not going to be able to visit certain places. And we skipped out on Blackwater and we skipped out on Hell Knight's Outpost. And now I think we can defeat both... I think we can do both this place and uh, possibly clear the spiders here, but that's like 600 experience. I don't think that matters too much. But now we should be able to do essentially everything that's left on the map. Which isn't that much in all honesty. Maybe, possibly we can do Ravage Longhouse, but that we can do later on also. Uh, but we can at least do these two which are time constrained. Blackwater and Hell Knight's Outpost. So today we're gonna go, go and do Blackwater. Do the Blackwater. And uh, yeah. That's gonna be the plan for today. Before we couldn't complete this either. I mean, possibly with a lot of luck and a lot of buffs, we could maybe have done this place. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna buff our dudes up and let's see here. Uh, getting used to all the new things. So first of all, we need to get heroism to everybody. Yeah. Then, let's see here, we actually don't have, let's see, we need bull strength also. Bull strength on this girl, and this girl, which don't have strength belts, I'm pretty sure. So let's see here, now this girl has 28 bull strength, she has a belt of physical might plus 2. These girls have physical might plus 4, so now everybody has 28 uh, strength. And that is before they're muted again, by the way. So how do we get the extra two strength, you might ask? Because now they are gonna go up to... As you can see here. They're gonna go up to 30 and we're gonna get a claw attack. This is from the Feral Mutagen. Uh, they have 32 strength now. And the reason for that is, of course, that we have two levels in uh, Dragon Disciple. Which gives us another bite attack, of course, also. So now we're up to a decent attack rating, I would say. Some of these girls can have like 21. This is with the power attack, by the way. Uh, so that's kind of nice. Uh, let's see here. We also need to refresh our prayer, I think. And we need to refresh our bless. And let's see here. Now it's time to drink the Cognatogen. Oh no, wait. We need protection from electricity first. Everybody. Then we need to go, let's see, Cognatogen Wisdom. Save. By the way, I also changed our first initial pick for... Uh, um, for Mythic Path thing. Uh, actually, Force Reality, I think, is great. I haven't tried it out too much, honestly, so I don't know exactly what the DC is of our Dispel Magic thing. Uh, but the thing is, we have so many things now. We have every one of these girls can inflict wounds. So we have healing in all these girls. And this girl can also channel negative energy. 
So you have an insane amount of healing actually in this party that you can use. So we don't need to have even more healing. That is completely redundant. So I thought what would be the second best thing? I think Force Reality. Just being able to dispel magic, removing all the uh, uh, mirror images and stuff like that. I think that's going to be huge actually. Huge magic. So we have that also. We should prepare. Let's see. Do these girls need any buffs on themselves? Uh, there's a luck bonus here, but that doesn't stack with anything. Actually, Magic Fang. It's a really good Together bonus. To be able to hit with our bites. So we can do that. And yeah, we need these also before we go in. Uh, but before we do that, I think this Guarded Heart lasts for one hour per level. So that's kind of a long time, if you didn't know. Kind of a long time. So we go up here. We cast Guarded Heart inside here. This was an insanely difficult battle before, but I think it's gonna be much, much easier now. I mean, it's not gonna be easy per se, but it's going to be easier, I think. Uh, it was hardly doable before, so. Okay, do we do power attack here? Uh, we can figure that out later, I guess. So we go Storm Strike. Oh, no, 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 on yourself. <laughs> That's gonna be confusing. Storm Strike, Storm Strike, Storm Strike, and Storm Strike. Then we're gonna go Ice Strike. Unfortunately, we only have one use of this, and it only lasts one minute. So we're gonna have to sleep a lot with this party to refresh these buffs. Would be so nice if we could have four, have four of these. Uh, let's see here. How many uses does it say that we have this? Is this based on a modifier? Now think about it. So let's see. Oh, here we can actually see our attacks. Let's see. Class. That's not. Okay, Marshall. Here we can see our attacks. So we have uh, the claw, we have the sigh, and then we have bite. Oh, we can't even see all of them. <laughs> okay, there's no scroll wheeler. We can only see that we bite, bite, bite there. Uh, but these guys have an attack bonus of plus 16, and that is, of course, uh, we should have, yeah, we have an amulet of mighty fist. So that's why it's not super low on these things. They could take away power attack, actually. Deal. It'd be a little bit more precision-like with these things. Uh, but let's see here. Now we have all these. I just wanted to check here for the class. Um... If we could increase by picking up one more level of, uh, let's see, War Priest. Let's see how many. Uh, let's see a Storm Strike. Doesn't say what gives us more uses of this, actually. Does it say anywhere, like Blessings, how many time we can use Blessings? Bonus combat feat. Nothing really telling us what could improve that. Ah, anyways. We have everything buffed. I think we probably, in all honesty, we kind of want the formation to be something like this. Our main character also has an elk. Uh, to not confuse her with everybody else, mostly. Uh, and also the elk is slightly better, I feel like. Slightly better stats, but it's not going to be a huge thing I don't think so I'm always ready. now we are ready to fight do we have everything on we actually don't have inspiring command on so we could cast that first the last buff I think we need good now we should have every buff now we're ready to take this fight hopefully and this m skill might bug out the persuasion sometimes it casts it on ourselves <laughs> <laughs> and then, as you might have guessed, we kind of screwed. I don't know why it bugs out like that sometimes, but it happens, so. Okay, now it seems to only cast on them. That's perfect. Persuasion, persuasion. Couple of will saves there. That is absolutely fine, I think. We're gonna go into... Um, let's see, where, where, where is it? Did I drink the Cognata Gem before? Yes, I did. Good. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go into turn base, I think, and do this. So these guys are not going to be able to fight the first uh, round. Yeah, also, yeah, we have Orc on Sora, by the way. <laughs> Another thing I forgot to tell you. Okay, 
So they're not going to be able to fight the first round, which is great. We're always going to get the first turn. Always. Uh, okay. So, let's see here. Uh, we can smack this guy. Uh, we don't need to use Serpent Fang yet. As you can see, we can only do one attack here. Except... Uh, if we stand next to them. So we could actually charge something here. And deal a little bit of extra damage. So I think we're gonna try charging this guy. No. We we'll charge maybe this guy. No? Okay, so we can't charge anything. In that case, I think we we'll go for this guy. Hopefully they're not gonna trigger an attack opportunity, but I don't think so. Okay. As you can see, we deal a little bit of damage there, but uh, it's going to be more interesting to see this in action when we have... Uh, let's see here. Are these guys flat-footed? Doesn't say if they are, actually. Uh, it's going to be difficult to hit these guys if they are not flat-footed at this point. Let's see here. Um, so we might take out the other guys. I think we take out, try to take out the guns. Okay. And our main character then. I think actually this thing went away. It usually does when you... Let's see, your inspiring command. Yeah, it's only three seconds on this thing. It's kind of not so long duration. This thing. Inspiring command. Great. And I think we go up and we uh, smack the augmented defender a little bit. And as you can see, the, the hits look a little bit weird. Okay. Let's get some attacks. But I'm gonna explain that when we get all the attacks. Then I'm gonna go for the explanation of what's actually going on there. Okay. Hopefully this guy doesn't kill us. Oh, we missed. That's amazing. Oh, we missed. Okay. Crushing despair. 90. Yeah, these horses are gonna fall. But luckily we have last stand, so it doesn't matter if they... If a couple die here. Okay. Now then. Now begins the thing here. So we can see we have 8 attacks here. 8 attacks here. If we now go Serpent's Fang. We have 9 attacks, of course. Uh, so we're gonna see what happens here if we click... We we'll go for Grunt or Grunt. I think go for this guy. As you might have realized. <laughs> that is quite a lot of attacks. I can explain what happened there. <laughs> to you. Uh, okay, so here are all our attacks. As you can see, whenever we attack here... Oh, we started attacking way up here somewhere. Where's the first attack? Okay, here's our first attack. So we attack with Psy. So first we get the attacks. Uh, as I said, the normal attacks, then we get the claw attack, and then lastly we get all the bite attacks. So we hit with the weapon. Uh, we do get a sneak attack on our normal weapon. We don't get a sneak attack on bite, we don't get a sneak attack on claw. I don't know why, but that's just how it works. Else it would be great. But then we could just increase the damage by increasing our sneak attack, but we can't. Uh, so we dealt 25 damage, uh, which got reduced. But for some reason it didn't get reduced, because it dealt 25... Damage. No, 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 no. We also had bludgeoning damage and piercing sneak damage. Okay, so that didn't get reduced, but our main damage got reduced. But in total, was also 25. <laughs> so that was a little bit confusing, but okay. Then we deal, of course, the electricity damage. And weirdly enough, we also deal bludgeoning damage. I don't know how that even happens, okay. And then we deal zero damage here. Uh, and we deal cold damage. And even though it's zero damage here, it still triggers our... Um, or divine damage thing. And for some reason we get bludgeoning damage on that also. Man, if we have someone who is not immune uh, or doesn't have damage reduction, this is going to be absolutely insane. And then of course that happens a lot of times. That happens nine times in total and they all die. So that is the thing. Uh, of course we have last stand, so uh, we can turn on Serpent's Fang here. And we can... Uh, why did we... Oh, because we stood up. We only had one attack. Ah, that, that's... Uh, that's too bad. That's too bad. Uh, okay. So this guy missed us last time. I think we can actually go for a... Axiomites or Soul Eaters, or do we go for this? I think we go for Axiomites, because they are kind of safer. 
and a couple of Axumites there. And let's see here, the Axumites are, uh, I don't know, I don't know what they do, <laughs> something, okay. Now then, Octavia, you are where exactly? Uh, you should have a couple of attacks here. We're gonna turn on this also, and we're just gonna smack this guy. Okay, so this guy was a little bit difficult to hit, but we got a couple of hits in there. Not too many though, unfortunately. So, these guys have a lot of damage reduction, of course, and they have like 50 AC, so they're kind of difficult to hit, even with all the buffs that we have. So, uh, we probably turn on power or turn off power attack for this. Because uh, if we turn off power attack here, uh, that should be about 36 or so. We can look at our bonuses here. Inspiring command, guarded heart, prayer, common plus 3, heroism, and then we get minus 2 for power attack. Which you can of course turn off. Uh, to have a higher chance of hitting this guy. Yeah. Okay. There we got one hit. There we got another. Great. Now then. Uh, so this guy we can maybe take out. This guy can take out next turn maybe. I think I want someone next to this guy. So we'll move up on this guy. And he's really not gonna do much here. Yeah. I need a lot of, lot more buffs to be able to do it or something, okay? Ooh, that's a dangerous spell. Banshee Blast, okay. Now we got Fear, but that's not good. Okay, but still we have Last Stand, so... Uh, yeah, I mean, we should be able to finish this Grunt off now. He's kinda dead. Uh, unfortunately, this girl Raska is gonna die, die very, very soon. Don't really like that. Uh, but there's not much else you can do except for attacking this guy with only one attack. <laughs> Which missed. Okay. Okay. Main character. Can we summon some more dudes here, maybe? Some red caps, maybe? We might also need to refresh our protection from electricity communal. I don't know how long that's gonna last, actually, so we'll do that. Oh, that wasn't too many, actually. And... We can actually do Orb of Heroism. Why not? Axiomites! Okay. So these guys are taking damage from these things. We are hardly taking damage. Shadow Demon is afraid here. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. Octavia. Okay. Uh, actually, we got a for this is for the Banshee Blast. We got uh, that thing happened. So that's unfortunate, but that's just how it is. So now then we can turn on the Serpent's Fang. Uh, we turn off Power Attack. And we try to hit this guy as much as possible. A okay. lot of misses there. A lot of misses. But of course, even though we miss, we deal a little bit of damage at least, so that's something. Okay, crushing despair. Ooh, we can actually deal nine attacks here. That seems kind of nice. Oh my god, we miss a lot. Ah, oh, there he is. <laughs> there he is, okay. Okay, so she fell unconscious there, so our last stand is out, unfortunately, but there's only one dude left, right? Uh, we're gonna have to have someone disarm these powers here also. So Leona, you can safely stand up or anything. And it would be nice to channel negative energy to heal this girl. Okay. And um, you can't do that now, unfortunately. And your turn. That's perfect. Oh, I don't have any spell resistance, unfortunately. Unfortunately, Shadow Demon coming in, maybe. Oh, still frightened. <laughs> From the Banjo Blast. Okay. And now then, Mu Yan Ling. Will he get some hits this time? That's what I'm wondering. But that sure would be great, also. A couple of hits. 
Okay, uh, these guys are tough though. They have like 50 armor class, something like that. Oh my god, though. What happened there? Critical miss. Miss. The only attack bonus of 22. Oh, it's power attack and power shield. And he's shaken. Okay. We don't have like a super high armor class on these uh, animal companions, but... I guess sometimes, you know. Inspiring Command also gets uh, an armor bonus though. Or gives us an armor bonus, that's kind of nice. Didn't even know that's how it worked, okay. And let's see here. Uh, I mean, we want to go in and smack this guy, so we'll go in. Smack. Okay. Can we hold this guy? That would be great. Lil Janers. I would love it if... I mean, I think if that girl dies, she dies to electricity, though. I think we cast another protection from electricity. So I think that's how we die here. And then we're gonna end the turn. Monster, okay. Shadow Demon moving around. But I do like our setup here, I gotta say. This battle before, this was a million times more difficult than it is right now. Gotta say. Uh, yeah, I mean, all we need is like one hit on this guy. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh, she got feared again? By what? By what she did? <laughs> did she get feared? I have no idea. We have nine attacks, that should be enough to finish this guy off. Unless we have some insanely unlucky things. Oh my god, actually we did miss ever no, not the last one. Okay. Perfect. Cut through the enemy defenses. Combat finish. We're gonna save there. And uh, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Access the use magic device DC39. Oh my god, don't run in there, my lady. That's another fight there. Come on. No, don't run in there. Don't run in there. Don't run in there. Don't run in there. Thank you very much. Run in here instead. Good. Save again. Let's see here. We need to use magic device on this thing. I think we have a pretty high use magic device, don't we? This girl character. Let's see here. 20. So we can only pass this on. <laughs> uh, if we have a lot of buffs, I guess. Doesn't this give a luck bonus? Let's see. Oh my god. What happened there? I went to the worker. Where did these guys come from? Okay. Uh, what? Okay, smack this guy. I don't know what happened there, but okay. Cast prayer. Uh, let's see here. Try again. Uh, heroism on yourself. I think that gives a bonus to your skin checks. Prayer. I don't know. Bless us. And uh, let's see here. What else do you need? Inspiring command, surely. And we don't have blessing on the faithful, unfortunately. Uh, do we have anything that can give us more charisma? Let's see here. Because that gives us use magic device, I'm pretty sure. Uh, wait, don't we have a ring which gives use magic? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, okay, this gives plus five competence bonus also. So I kind of want to pass this check. And I think this is going to be make us able to go out of this door. <laughs> so that we're not stuck here, hopefully. Because else we'll have to sleep inside here and that's going to be... I mean, it's fine. But it would be better if we could get out of here also. And sleep outside. And not get corrupted. That would be great. Uh, so... I don't think we have anything... Let's see. Angelic knowledge doesn't work. We need something. Uh, let's see here. Did we have inspiring command? Cast that also. ba da ba -do. Uh, Check our character. Still 21. That's that's every buff we have. 
21, so it's like one. Surely we could buff up our uh, charisma though a little bit. We can cook up a uh, buff charisma spell there, I think. That's your bear's endurance, owl's wisdom. Eagle's splendor gives charisma, okay? So we mathematic that thing. Mathematic it down to uh, one. Then we mathematic it down to zero. And now we can cast Eagle Splendor on ourselves. We should move. Spells zero. Uh, Eagle's Splendor on yourself. Great. And uh, now we have 22. Anything else which increases our charisma? Okay, could we do the Cognatogen to give us even more charisma? But that is... Uh, mm, 39, that is high everybody. <laughs> gonna take a couple of tries, but we're gonna succeed. Okay, we we'll save. The art of killing is so diverse these days. Okay. You've never seen something unusual, okay? Okay, you've never seen something unusual. It's unlike anything you ever dealt with before. So, roll an 8. My god, it's gonna take a while to succeed with this check. <laughs> gonna take a while, but that's probably gonna be the end of the episode when we succeed. Or maybe, here's what I do. Uh, we end the episode here, and then before the next episode, I will pass this check. And we'll see what happens. So thanks so much for watching and see you next time.